Greetings and uh, welcome to this quick tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use uh, depth of field on a scene that's using Trap Code Tao in After Effects. So um, it's a little simple technique that I'm going to share with you today because um, if you have used the Trap Code Tao, as you can notice, uh, it doesn't work with the uh, native After Effects camera's uh, depth of field. So uh, this thing here, we cannot make it work so we can just turn it off and uh, let me show you a nice little trick uh, that we can use if we want to uh, have some nice depth of field effect on this uh, nice uh, colorful scene and uh, that's got uh, some depth in here and it's going to be perfect to uh, illustrate uh, how the depth of field effect works so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, first of all turn off all the color corrections that, that I've got on top of here and um, I'm going to duplicate this composition and I'm going to call it uh, DOF and this one is going to be our master comp. So um, first thing that we want to do is uh, connect the camera system in uh, both these composition to make sure that everything we change the master comp will be reflected in our DOF. So uh, to do that let's simply drag this off here and um, Let's make sure, hit home, let's make sure we're on frame one. And I'm going to get my properties. So P, Shift A, and Shift R to get the point of interest, position, and uh, orientation properties on my camera, as well as on my dolly here that I'm using to uh, control the camera. I'm going to open up the same here. And uh, uh, let me make some room. And uh, the camera. So I'm going to alt click the stopwatch and uh, for each of them I'm going to connect that over to properties on discom and I'm sure you can do this quicker with a script but hey we're doing we're doing things we're able persons All right so let's uh, connect the camera position, orientation, and rotation. So let's just uh, to make sure that if we were to change the camera angle in this comp, it will be reflected in the other one. So let's do this. And if we come here, it's the same. So Next, uh, what we're going to do, we don't need this anymore, and uh, whoop, this is uh, uh, not what I want to see now. Um, so um, now let's get in our DOF, and uh, we could, what we could do is also connect uh, the Tao system to make sure that everything we were to change in uh, the one in the master com, uh, every change would be reflected in here, but I'm not gonna uh, link all those up. It's gonna be pretty boring for you to watch that. So uh, you can use also a script. And uh, but the only thing you don't want to connect is the visibility properties. So uh, first, in our DOF, we want to make sure that we're not using any light data. So um, we want this to basically get uh, black and white. And uh, as things are closer to camera it's gonna be black and as they get further from the camera we want them to be totally white so uh, let's get in the material lighting let's make the color full white and let's turn all the uh, light settings uh, to off um, specular shininess doesn't matter uh, metal Fresnel we don't want that diffuse holdout well let's just get back this back to the reset uh, no light fall off um, and uh, basically we want to remove the uh, image based lighting and it won't allow it us to do that so we can check this and set that to none all right so almost everything also we want to make sure that we don't uh, use any ambient occlusion so it's gonna we want this all flat like that and uh, we want our background layer to be plain white so I'm just gonna remove the ramp here that I put there 
and uh, also in the fog we want to make sure that it's full white okay so basically that's our depth map and uh, if we want it to start closer just play around with the properties on the fog here so uh, let's say that's our basic blur map now we can get back in the master comp and uh, let's bring this over here on top of our tau so basically should be should be the same all right so that's what we want and uh, we want to turn this off and let's add a camera lens blur effect on our tau here I've got a curve effect doesn't matter so by default we get some blurriness in here we just want to make sure that we check the repeat edge pixel so it fixes the edges here and we're gonna use our blur map so let's select that here so as you understand that's happening now uh, everywhere it was darker it's gonna be sharp and precise and uh, in the back like where it was migrating to the white uh, wider color it's gonna get more blurry so usually you don't want this effect you want this effect to be kind of subtle it's just to uh, make it a little bit more realistic and the last thing I'm gonna show you in this quick tutorial um, if we want to use like uh, this technique and uh, right now what we have is um, like everything that's closer it's really uh, sharp and everything is that's further is uh, really blurred but if we want something like of a rack focus like a middle point uh, we want if we, we wanted everything in the front to be uh, also blurry and everything in the back but what's in the middle like precise so one simple way to do that in the DOF if I simply add another adjustment layer and here we can add the colorama effect and simply uh, by adding that and uh, let's not be uh, completely out of our minds here with those colors and let's put ram gray so we're getting back something something like that and um, by adding another uh, by moving this one here like we can decide uh, how much we want uh, how much we want the, the front part to uh, get blurriness so it's another another quick way to uh, and uh, to set up some uh, depth of field so now if we get back uh, now everything that's uh, closer is also going to get blurry all right so that's a quick way to use uh, depth of field dynamically uh, with the camera lens blur effect and a blur map and uh, if we rotate the camera of course it will work because it's all dynamic I hope you like this little technique and uh, if you want to drop any comments uh, down below I'll be happy to read them and if you want to learn how to create this kind of setup well just tell me and I'm gonna record a, a, a prequel to this tutorial and show you how and uh, well have a great day thank you